In this lecture, we're going to look at the blood supply to the upper limb. So really, it's going to be an overview of the blood supply. We'll look at the blood supply to the auxilla, the arm, the forearm, and the hand. We'll look at the auxiliary artery, its three divisions and the various branches. We'll look at the brachial artery and its branches. We'll look at the ulna and radial arteries, the branches that come off these, and also the anastomoses they form around the elbow. We'll then look at the blood supply to the hand and the superficial and deep palmar arches, how they're formed from the radial and ulna arteries, and how they give rise to blood vessels that supply the digits. So here we can see we have a nice overview of the blood supply to the upper limb in this diagram. It is a right upper limb and we're looking at the anterior surface. And we can see that each upper limb is supplied with arterial blood that is coming primarily from either the left or the right subclavian artery. So here we can see above the clavicle we have the subclavian artery and on the left hand side this is a direct branch of the aortic arch and on the right side it's the bifurcation of the brachiocephalic trunk. The principal artery or arteries of the auxilla are going to be the auxiliary artery which we can see here. The auxiliary artery, as we know, is the direct continuation of the subclavian artery. And then it passes down into the arm as the brachial artery. And then this divides in the forearm to the radial and ulnar arteries. And then when we pass into the hand, we can see we have these deep and superficial palmar arches. So all of these blood vessels are originating from the subclavian artery. It passes down into the auxiliary artery, which then becomes the brachial artery. The brachial artery then bifurcates into radial and ulnar arteries, and here we have those superficial and deep palmar arches. So we're going to look at the details of all of these blood vessels. 